Hello Charles Angels, welcome to another tutorial and today we're going to be working on a multi-step form but this time in React. So in my last tutorial I made a multi-step form using HTML, CSS and JavaScript but this time we're going to be making use of React and it's still kind of the same so next when you click on next it goes to this changes from 2 to 1 this moves then next and if you go back back and it comes back to this so this is what we're going to <clears throat> excuse me so this is what we're going to be working on but this time it's going to be in react so let's get into it um so far i created a an empty folder called multi-step so this is where we're going to be creating we're working with our react so terminal i'm uh, going to say npm npm create right full stop multi-step react javascript um so npm install just follow the instructions so i could just copy and paste there's no need for me to type that out by myself let me copy this one too <laughs> Um, yeah, so N, npm, run dev. So this is localhost. So we'll just come here and say localhost. Yep. So this is what a blank, no, this is no blank, but this is what it, it sh what you should see. Yeah. So we'll just remove what we don't need. We don't need these. Uh, we'll change this to main. We don't need this. We do not need these. Uh, so save. Okay, so in our index the CSS, we remove the what's there. After CSS, same thing, we remove what is there. Um, so now it should be a blank slate. All right. So in our after JSX, <clears throat> uh, we are going to give this an ID. We'll call this main body. Inside it, we're going to have another div. We're going to give this um, an ID. I will call this overall container. And from there, we'll create a form. I will give this form an ID. I will say form container. So uh, what we want to create, it, why isn't that working? Oh, we haven't typed anything, sorry. <laughs> Let's see, okay, yeah, it's working. <laughs> My bad. Okay, so um, the next thing we want to do is we want to put this inside. Uh, and then we're going to say, so here, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a folder. I'm going to call this folder component. And then inside, I'm going to say header.gsx. So const that I know I could there's a shortcut for this but I love typing so yeah just you know you could use the shortcut to type along with me. Alright, so here's gonna be header right. Then we're gonna have a h2 that's we're going to see registration. H3 and I could have give this H3 an ID of numbers box and then we would say span and then we'll have this one and then 
we'll change this. No, we don't need another span. We'll just say slash three. So this is going to be dynamic. And this header will just give it an ID of um, form header. Okay. Um, so I'm going to bring in the header here. And so now that should reflect. So next, we're going to create the imputes area. I'm just going to create a new file. We will, oops, 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 oops. Okay. New file, we'll call this new file imputes area.gsx const imputes area is equals to this, and this, and this. Return. Export default is input area, and here we're going to return a div, and this div would have a class name. So class name is going to be imputes casein, all right? And then we're going to have another div in it, and then this div would have a label. Uh, we'll say first name and then we would have an input in it so so we'll just say text type text so we're going to duplicate this so we'll call this last name save and let's bring in the input area right input area and yeah, so that looks like that. Uh, next, we're going to just bring in the button whenever we can. Um, I know I can create this inside a component, but I would just like to keep things very simple. That's why I'm just bringing, putting in the button inside here. All right, so here we have button. So we'll give this button an ID. I will say this button should be next button. Okay. And so for the HTML, for now, that's all we need. And it looks pretty good already. <laughs> so I'm just going to bring in the CSS for this. And then um, you could find the CSS in the GitHub repository. And then we'll continue. I wouldn't want to dwell on CSS. If you want to have a detailed explanation of the CSS, you could watch my last tutorial. And uh, I think uh, the card would come up right now. And yeah. Okay, so um, let's bring in. So I'm just going to bring in the CSS. Okay. So let's index the CSS and paste in that. Uh, save. Okay, it looks like something is off. Uh, let me see. Oh, Katina. Oops. Save. Oh, -oh. yeah. Okay, so now we just have it red. It's all red. Okay, this should be. Uh, okay, and this. Okay, so let's. So for now, let me just comment this out. Okay. Okay, yeah. So next, we'll, we'll, we'll get into the details of that later. Um, what's next? Okay, so yeah, I want to bring in an image that would um, replace this. So I'm just going to bring in an image that we're going to use. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I have brought in an image, and this is this image, this particular image, and then I have commented out the background color red. And so now we have this. This is what we have so far. Uh, we don't have any functionality yet. And um, why is that happening? Um, okay, we're supposed to give this type button. Okay, yeah. Okay, so so far we don't have anything happening. And then let's get into 
the react main react part of it so the first thing we want to do is we want to change this from one to two to three to four and yeah just one to three essentially and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to bring in a use state oh, we have a use state already inside so we're going to say const header index set header index is equal to use state um, we'll say uh, let's just say zero for now we'll change it to one later and then we will pass it as a prop to header so we'll just say that equals to that then in our header our props Okay, so header index. So if we go back, we have zero, right? Uh, so let's change it to one because that's what we want. So we'll change it to one. Then the next thing we want to do, we want to create a function. When we click on this, it would move it. Yeah. Okay, so um, let me rearrange that. Okay, next, so we're going to create a function. The function is going to be called move to next number. Okay, so what would move to next number do? Is, so we're just going to say set header index, then do a callback function. And we're going to say prev plus one. So after that, we're just going to call this inside here. So on click equals to move to next number. So, so next, next, next. But well, you can see it is moving to, it's moving beyond that point. So there are two ways we could go about it. I could just simply go and say, okay, if um, header next is greater than two, then we we'll just return. But I don't want to do it like that. I don't want to do it like this. This would, would, would work. But what I would like to do is I would like to use a ternary operator here. So I would say, I would say, um, if the previous is less than three. So if we have not gotten to three yet, then add plus one to it. If we've, if we've not got into three, that is it's less than three. Then if it is already three else, just return the previous. Simple as that. So, um, so refresh. Next, next, next. And it doesn't go beyond three. So, um, yeah. But if you prefer the other method, fine. It, it works all the same. I'll just show you possibilities. Then the next thing we want to do is um, we want to change. We want to make sure that when it gets to three, it becomes green. When it gets to three, it becomes green. So what we're going to do is um, inside header dot JSX, we are going to give a condition. So in header dot JSX, we're going to uh, change the style of this. So that when it's three, it becomes red. And so when it's three, it becomes green. So we're going to the style, and so we'll say color, and then we'll bring in the ternary operator again. <laughs> You're going to be using ternary operators a lot in React if you're new to React. So just heads up. So we're saying if header index is greater. Greater than or equals to three. If it is three or more than three, make it. So what we're going to say is make it green. Else, just let's put nothing there. So if this is three or greater than three, then make the color green. So yeah. uh, oh, sorry, this I put this in the wrong place. <laughs> My bad. So this is supposed to be here. 
All right, so now both of them are green. So if we refresh, it's red. Now it's green. All right. So the next thing we want to do is we want to bring in the previous button and then, uh, yes, so let's bring in the previous button. So back to our code in app.jsx, we are going to create a container for this um, button. Say div. And this div is going to have an ID of button container and then let's just move this inside okay and then we'll just duplicate this so we'll call this previous all right um, previous and we're going to create a new function we'll call this function move to previous number move to previous number all right and then um, so we are going to bring that into the previous okay and then we'll change this to previous to the prev and so what should that look like so it looks like this but so in order to make it look much better we are going to come back to our index.css so here we'll just uncomment this and yeah that looks much better so now um, in the beginning we don't want both of them to show at the same time so what we want to do is we want a situation where we are going to put a class here so what this class is going to do is, if this class is present, then this previous button will disappear. So if we look at the CSS, uh, let me explain that. Um, okay, so now what we're saying is, if this class called expand button is here, you want to display none for the previous button. And if it's the next button, you want the width to be 100%. Because at the moment, both of them are 45%. But once this is available at the parent, then this should be 100. So that's what we're basically doing. So I'm just going to um, copy this. So call this expand button. And then we're going to say expand button. And um, yeah. So yeah, now it's like that. But as you can see, as you can see, it's. You know, it's not when I click on next, the previous button is not showing. So what are we going to do? Yes, we are going to use another <laughs> Telery operator for this one. Yeah. Um, so what we're going to do is uh, we're just going to say if header index is less than one. So if header index is less than one, then expand button else. Just do this. Another way of doing this is we could make use of use ref, but I wouldn't be making use of use ref. Um, I, don't know. I think I want to skip on that for for, for now. Um, we could use use ref, but I we could use use ref also, but I feel like this is a much faster approach. I feel like it's clean in my own opinion. So now that you can see is this. Okay, let's start. The beginning. So this is supposed to be less than or equals to one. So now in the beginning it's like this. We say next and next and see. So nothing happens in previous. So that works. So remember, header index is less than or equals to one. So now let's put something in our move to previous um, previous number function. So we're going to say set edda index i want to use a ternary operator here too um we could also there's another method of doing it you just put a condition here and return but no i don't want to do that so i'll just say um let's use a ternary operator if the previous 
like the previous value is greater than one, then previous minus one else return previous. Okay, so let's try that out. So, so now we see previous, now the number changes. I can see automatically the reactivity of React kicks in and we didn't have to do any other thing to make it go back to red. See, just smooth. So of course, now that brings us to how we are gonna swap here. Um, so for that, I'm just going to bring in a list, the, an array of objects that we're going to use. I wouldn't want to type that out. Um, so we're going to call this input list. So it has the first name, last name, email, phone number, and, and, and password, whatnot. So what we are going to do is we are going to map, we are going to uh, loop through through it, making use of map, and then we'll return this. So let's open JavaScript land. So that's coil braces. So we're going to say um, input list dot map. So we say item index, and then we we'll do this, and then we. We'll Turn. We are just going to return this input area. Okay. So now this is what we have, but this is not what we want, and we would have to, you know, make some adjustments so that it's only what we need part time that would show. Right. Okay. So. Now, the first thing we want to do is we need to pass props to this input area. And um, the props we are going to be passed. So first of all, let's give it a key, you know. And the key will just be item dot test input. So that's the key we are going to be using. And then we are going to pass in the index index is equal to index and then we're going to say header index is equal to header index and item is equal to item okay so in our input area we are going to bring in those props so props i have to be fast const that is equal to props and then we'll just say index header index item so uh, what we want to do is we are going to make use of the CSS property so here in our CSS we can see that if this if this particular class, so, uh, so if we put hidden form inside this, with this, so if both of them are in the same place, so yeah, then it's going to be displayed on. So if we have hidden form in the class list with this, then it's going to be that particular item will not show. So that's what we're going to do. So if it's just only the input case that is there, these are the attributes that will be there. But once this is with it, this will disappear. Um, okay, so that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, okay, so now we're going to use a ternary operator as usual. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to say is if index, that is the index we passed, is equal to header index. So so this header index is going to be changing from one to two to three, but this index already already predefined. So we're already we already know that index starts from zero. So it's going to be zero one two because there are only three items here. So zero one two. So once this index that we're passing, which is zero one or two, matches 
this particular index, then this would be activated. This particular class would be activated. If it's not active, if, so which means that this is what will show. So if this index matches this index, this is what will show. Else, we would say input casing, and then we'll bring in hidden form. So, okay, so this has to be index minus one. Why? Remember, our index starts from zero. But what we have here starts from one. So if we want zero to match zero, then we have to say one minus one, which makes it zero. So yeah, please. Let's take note of that. And another thing we want to do is we want to... Okay, so before we, we even do this, um, let's look. Um, okay, so then we would change this. I'll say item dot um, first impute. I think that's what I called it. Oh, what I called it. So first impute. Yeah, sorry. Then item dot second impute. Let me just copy this and put this here. Item that second input and save and oops, what just happened? Did I copy that? Oh, uh, it's fist input. Oops. <laughs> oh my god. Oops, sorry. Okay, so now that dash, uh, yeah. So now if we click on next, it goes to the next one. So what has happened was that this email phone number, you know, remember it was on the list, is matching this. So yeah, so next, and yeah, I'll go previous, previous. And with that, we've come to the end of this tutorial. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something new. I'm sure you would have learned something, at least ternary operator. And I hope you enjoyed this beginner's project. Um, if you did enjoy it, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, do leave a comment for other videos you would like me to do. I'm hoping to create a, a crash course for the new React Router Doom and probably a JavaScript crash course too. So do let me know what you, your thoughts are. And yeah, that's it for today. Thank you so much. Um, Bye.